Thank you for tuning in, you're in for an educational treat. What's something that people who don't wake up early, miss? I used to drive over a hill to get to school every day. It had the prettiest mountains in its view. I miss seeing the sun rising above them or the fog rolling through. I used to wonder about the people who lived in the gigantic houses high up on them and wondered what they saw in that moment. Every time I go there now it's in the afternoon and it's still pretty, but there's less intimacy. This is a very pleasant comment. I read this in Perd Hapley's voice. Old people at the gym. At the mall near me, old people walk around the mall for exercise. It's like a whole community, they've been doing it for years and say hello to each other as they do their laps in the mall. Seems like the perfect place to do it, safe, no cars, air conditioned slash heated, place to sit and rest, restaurants to get drinks and breakfast. No hills. I can clearly imagine Captain Ray Holt doing this. This is more about work but I start my work day at 6 am. I see the following advantages when I'm in the office, my building probably holds 1000 people and probably 200 on my floor. On my floor at 6 am there are probably 5 people. I own the place. I can play my music without headphones, chill out, traffic is light, not be annoyed by people, great parking in the ramp, etc. Also, at 3 pm I leave for the day and I can see the jealousy in co-workers eyes. On the way home, traffic is again light. Although now with COVID-19, my whole day in the office is similar to what I describe above. I'm also am able to fix system issues before they become customer impacting. Woke up excessively early this morning. Could someone on here tell me what I'm supposed to be doing this early? Waste time on Reddit. Perfect time to get some early comments and on rising posts to reap that worthless karma. But waking up early won't help in international subreddits. The 715 train to work. I used to get the 717 train to work and your comment has both filled me with anxiety and a huge sense of relief that I don't have to do that anymore. Ah, 717. The time my first period would start back in the high school days. Also anxiety filled and huge sense of relief I don't have to do that anymore as well. Light traffic, tight graphics, and light treason. I've got the worst, bleep, attorneys. The sound of magpies drastically cut by the sound of a tradie loading up his trailer in the loudest manner possible. Magpies are frickin' alien. First morning outside Adelaide I thought we were getting invaded by space. Fresh dew on the grass, always evaporates by late morning. There's nothing like the smell of a sunny summer morning with the trees and ground still damp. Honeysuckle smells great and is fun word to say. The sound of pigeons going aww, the smell of clogged sewage drain. That one big mother fricking rat you see running out of the cafe you frequent. Ah city life. The blissful feeling of solitude. This is what I came here for. It's such a remarkably calm feeling to be the only one awake. The stillness of the world early in the morning is so rejuvenating, the knowledge that, at least for a while, there's nothing to be done, nothing to worry about, it's unrivaled. This, except I experience at 2 am in my forested backyard. Especially when no planes are flying overhead, flights picking up again now though. Everything is so still and quiet. No car noises, no PPL noises. I'm in solitude. The stars are bright as can be, not twinkling, just there as they were for eons. I watch the earth turn as the treetops slowly swallow each point of light. Maybe a cloud gently, silently floats by silhouetted with a faint moonlit glow. There's no tomorrow or yesterday. I love watching the house change color as I drink my tea. The sun rises right through my living area and I love watching it go from black to gray to orange slash pink slash purple slash whatever color it is that day. My kid has been waking up around 4 am lately. We spend the first hour or so bumming around in the dark, and once the sun comes up over the Delaware we get a flood of multicolored light. I know exactly what you're talking about. How still and quiet everything feels, even if there's birds yammering, and as the world wakes up the feeling of rising business. I'm really mad that someone blasted off a freaking firework through this perfect calm last week at 6 am. Bird song in the early morning is different somehow. So true, and the air smells different. Crisp morning air when you're wearing shorts and t-shirts is the freaking poop. How many t-shirts should I wear? In our country, if you do not wake up early, you miss buying a warm cup of Tahoe, soft tofu served with sugar syrup and tapioca pearls, and warm pandasol, sweet and a bit salty bread usually eaten with eggs, cheese, butter, etc. 
both are usually being sold by vendors on foot or riding a bicycle. Soft tofu served with sugar syrup and tapioca pearls. I have zero context for what any of these things, together or apart, taste like. But I want them in my mouth right now. It's like this warm and great explosion in your mouth. The drunk people scrambling to escape the sun and get in bed before the guilt of daylight overcomes them. That's usually me, except replace guilt with sense of accomplishment I get to see the sunrise and avoid the heat of summer all night. Then sleep through the heat and wake up for the sunset. Rinse and repeat. It's great. Me on the lawn in my bathrobe being angry at my Labrador puppy for begging to go outside to pee but then not peeing so I'm just stuck there playing this game with him like I swear if we go back and then you ain't coming out for an hour. He is potty trained, though he is getting conniving by using the I need to pee. Cues just to go outside and sniff at dirt. And yes he's totally leashed to me outside at all times after an incident where a stray yellow lab wandered up to the lawn. My dog chased after it, and I chased after them, but the yellow lab was scared of me so it ran which made my dog run after it which made me cross like three lawns until I finally scooped my dog up like a sack of taters and just toted him back. Damn it Chip. There is a very nice sense of accomplishment combined with the feeling of still having the whole day when you wake up early on say a Saturday and get some poop done you've been meaning, for example yard work. To just sit down and relax at like 2pm knowing you've already gotten done all that you needed to today and you still have till the 10 hours left to do whatever you want is just great. So you're the guy who mows the lawn at 7 o'clock on a Saturday? I hate you. One of the first things my dad taught me about mowing the lawn was not to start until 10.30 am to let people have a quiet morning whether they're sleeping or not. I like to start early but that's one rule I've always followed. What would have been your answer or question? Leave it in the comments below. Slap that like and subscribe button for more, and check out the link in the video description for even more answers. Peace out, and catch you in the next video.